Oh dear. Should have washed this up last night. Maddie's just in here editing. Ooh, in there we have banana, frozen strawberry, frozen spinach, and flaxseed. Delicious. It's uh, Monday. But Monday for you, Sunday for me, technically. I am just sat on bed. Maddie's in the next room editing. Um, and this is the, f the first time since we've moved in that I, that Maddie's been editing and I've not been. It's a new schedule I'm trying out. Schedule or schedule? I think me and Maddie are both trying it, but I, I'll, I'll film and edit a bit more than Maddie during the week, so we'll take Saturdays off completely. Fridays I'll edit but not film, and Sundays today I'll film but not edit. It feels kind of good. It's quite nice. I'm here chilling, Maddie's next door working. When I'm editing during the week, Maddie's often getting things done, doing chores, so I think I'll have to do that. I'll repay the favour for her. Um, and there's a lot of washing and stuff to do. We're also going to the Brighton Vegan Festival. I don't think it's, it's not the official big veg fest one. We missed out on the London veg fest. It, yeah, last month. Um, we just couldn't make it in the end, unfortunately. We were looking on Facebook. I can't remember how Maddie found out about it. And we just saw this was on this Sunday. Like, it was two days ago, we realised. We thought that'd be amazing. And it's like a lot cheaper to get in than the London one was. But obviously it'll be a lot smaller. So I'm looking forward to that. Unfortunately, yesterday I um, sliced my finger on a potato peeler. I was meant to be making a really lovely romantic meal for Maddie. And I was most of the way there. We were making, um, I think we showed it in a video. Might be the last video, I can't quite remember now. Big vegan burger it was called. And I'd made the patties and I was just about to slice the potatoes up. Maddie just went to Tesco. We realized we didn't have a potato peeler. She went to get one and she got one for like soft, soft vegetables. So I guess for like um, aubergine, cucumber, Cucumba. so that kind of thing. And I tried it on the potato and it just wouldn't work. It was like, jumping all over the place. And I should have realized then, I should have stopped and thought, no, I'm not gonna peel these potatoes with this. But I kept going and then it slipped off the potato and chopped my finger open. And I am not great with blood. So I had to go step outside for a bit. And in the end, I, I went to Tesco, get some plasters and Maddie had to finish the cooking because there was no way I could, <laughs> no way I could finish it, unfortunately. But it was amazing. Um, put a little picture of it in here. So this little guy might make it a bit awkward to do some cleaning and stuff today. I did want to go for a cycle ride. It's like the 10th time I've said that and it probably won't happen. Probably won't have time in the end. I've got lots of stuff to do this morning. A man can dream though. So this is my ingenious new plan for listening to Netflix in the kitchen. I have it hooked up to Bluetooth speak speakers, headphones, no wires and I don't have it blaring out to annoy Maddie. Expertly balanced. Maddie says this outfit doesn't look very good. Stop walking towards oh. me. Do you agree? The coat doesn't go with the outfit, I don't know. It's quite bright over here. Let's come this way. No. Mm. I don't know. If the coat goes, and I don't want to be cold, I'm I think it looks cold. fine. I don't. It looks good. I want to wear my Burberry coat, but it's not going to be warm look, enough. Warm enough. Because this is like this would be perfect for this outfit. Doesn't this look better? Yes. I don't know. Huh? Maybe. If you insist. Maybe I should switch my cardigan. Your neck will be very cold walking into town unless you wear your snood. But then what's the point in my jacket if you can't even see it? My, my cardigan if you can't even see it. <sighs> up underneath. Well, so, when anyway. we get to the place, I presume you take your coat off. Well, will, will, will it be warm in there? I mean, it's a hotel, so probably. Oh, okay. Help! <laughs> take this, please. No, I'm filming. Alex! No, oh, you dropped a glove there. I know. Did you know? I want to get the most use out of this jacket before it gets so cool. I can never wear it. It's got loads of like bits on it, like bubble bits. Ah, from when you wash it or what? 
Yeah, like just because it's old, it's like a few years old. Sorry about the audio, I've noticed, I think that we are gonna go for the G7X, because I think the well, audio on this sucks. Hang on, I've just realized that it could be because I put the wind filter up to high, which might cancel out quiet speaking. So I, someone commented saying, I'm sorry, this video is really hard to understand. And when, I was, watch oh yeah. and when I was watching it, I thought, I can't hear what I'm saying unless I am right here next to the yeah. camera. If I was in the room with you, which is a lot of our vlogs where we're just chatting to each other, you can't hear me. And I also don't think that the, the camera quality is very good when you're not out when you're not outside. So when you're outside, it looks gorge. So when you come into the light, or when if I was to go outside, it'd be really good quality. But as soon as you come into dark, it just looks really poor quality. I think compared to the G7X. I'll go for whichever has a good price. They're both pretty similar yeah. prices on eBay. They are. So I think you should go for G7X. What about me? Because I can't really go to a vegan festival wearing a cashmere jumper. Oh, don't be ridiculous. It's a second-hand one, isn't it? Or you got it years ago? I got it years and years ago. As if that matters. I'll be shunned. Nobody is going to care, Alex. Don't be ridiculous. Say what you want. Let's -a go. Oh, dear. Dream. I cannot believe that when she was cooking all that stuff, the amount. I couldn't believe how much she put in. I how, know. How was she going to clothe it? I know. <laughs> this is legit a donut with mac and cheese in it. I didn't really get much mac and cheese in my house. Have some. Yeah. I'm... We got some dumplings. I don't know what's in them. That's part of the fun. It's like a really filling donut. It was so warm in the hotel, and now it's freezing out here. I've got to get my jumper back on. Alex is cold. It doesn't look cold out. It looks really nice in like a balmy evening, but it's not. Balmy. Balm. Look at this. Hiya. Hiya. You're tired. Very. It's you're almost cold. You're like you. Your body is cold. Um. You just like wafted cold. Just got back and it's oh, so. Yeah. It was so cold. We put the heating on. Have we? Oh my god! Go whack the heating on. No. Okay. Alex, it's so cold. We need the heating on. Okay. Have you had the? Have you had your brownie? Yeah. Hang on. Let me just have some brownie. Salted caramel raw brownie. I feel like raw brownies are better than cooked brownies because whenever you go to a raw food stand or like a raw food shop mm. or something, mm. raw brownies are so much more delicious because they're just like really dense and really like chocolatey and it, what is it like, like nuts cashews and, and uh, oil, coconut. coconut oil and coconut cream. So it's very filling. That's delicious. So normally I'm not a huge fan of raw stuff, but when it comes to puddings, I think that I really like chocolate it. brownies raw are actually better than cooked chocolate brownies. I think the cooked, cooked ones can get so dry. They like cakes. Yeah. Oh, okay. So good. That was delicious. Heating. Watching that video, that vlog you're watching, makes me feel like I need a, a place to just sit and 
like a set place to chat. Where? What video? Oh, Mickey Blackwater. Is that what her name is? Yeah, she's great. Oh yeah, so somewhere like here. Yeah, that's what I did the other day. Look at my vlog right there. All oh, right. The one I just edited. Do you remember that? Oh uh, yeah. This is nice, like, just like set up on a tripod, and because I'm always like standing up, holding it, and it goes kind of wobbly like that. Yeah, the tripod's really easy now because I it's just always up, so you can just oh, yeah, it's right it there. On. And my little Joby. Joby. Tripod. Yeah, that's a bit of a pain. Could be in the background. I know this is. Hello. <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> no, I mean you're gonna do that post edit, aren't you? Post edit, post film. Come on, focus. See my ear. And that on me. But yeah. Got a pretty good zoom. God. It's interesting to use both cameras and find which camera does... What? Oh, I cannot speak today. <laughs> to find out what each camera does better or worse than the other. Like this has really good zoom and autofocus, whereas the G7X has better lighting and stuff, doesn't it? I find the G7X overall better. Yeah, and also the screen is better on the G7X. Mm -hmm. And the record, like the recording button on this, you press it like two or three times before it comes on. I mean, the only thing that's very weird on that is outside. It looks really lovely and crisp, and has a lovely depth, depth perception, like how it makes the background cloudy. Yeah. But other than that, it's everything else is worse. And this is probably going to be a pain to edit because you're going to sound really quiet. Yes. Oh well. You live and learn. What time is it? It's five o'clock on a Sunday. I think I've earned some fallout. God. Ah, 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 ah. We have decided upon a stir fry. With rice or with noodles? Ooh, noodles. Noodles, noodly noodles. Noodle, noodle, noodles. So what did I film when I made this the other day? I don't know. We made a tiger and curry the other day in my ebook, which, will this video still be up? We'll go, will this video go up when the sale's still running? Yeah. Yeah, so Wait, if, Monday, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, the sale's still going. Today's your last day. If you haven't got a copy of my ebook, I have a recipe for Tiger and Curry paste, or Tiger and Curry in general, and in it you make the paste. And it's so good because you just make the paste and then you have it ha on hand to use when you need to use it. Yeah. And that's um, not actually pesto. It's not pesto, it's just a recycled <laughs> jar. And it lasts like three ish, four curries. And if you don't want to do a proper curry and you just want to do a stir fry and make it really fast, you can just use this as like paste to like flavour the stir fry. Mm. And then often what I'll do is just add a dash of milk, coconut milk preferably, but you could use soy milk or anything just to make it a bit creamy. Mm. And then you cook it in, you can put a chilli in there too if you want it to be super hot. I don't want it to be super yes, hot. Yes, please. And then loads of vegetables. I do need to have a red onion as well. But, um, red onion, eh? Mushrooms, pepper, broccoli. And then cook the noodles separately and then bung it all in together and it makes a really delicious meal and then you should top it with some soy sauce and sriracha and like yum 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 toppings we always buy coriander spring onion and lime or lemon and it makes every meal just taste yeah like a dream chef muddy so yeah or if you're in america it's green onion cilantro green onion and limon and garbanzo <laughs> that was a terrible accent i've been deliberately bad uh-huh so yeah, if you are interested in getting a copy of my ebook, because it is last chance to get 25% off, and that means it's only $7.50, and I I don't know of any other ebook online that I've seen that, that that is that cheap for over 100 recipes, so go get yourself a deal, and I'll shut up about it now. <laughs> I never do sales, that's why I've been chatting about it yeah. so much, and it's Black Friday's the code. So. You haven't chatted about it in these vlogs. No, I haven't, but everyone, a lot of you guys probably Partly because we haven't filmed over the weekend. No, oh. a lot of you guys probably watch my vlog and I've said it like so many times yeah. and on all my social media, but I don't really do sales, so, because it's already cheap, so yeah. I forgot to show them my um, beer that I froze by accident overnight. I forgot to drink it. It's semi-defrosted. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, be careful. It's very uh, aggressive, isn't it? Mm. Comes right out at you. It's quite sweet as well. It's okay, yeah. it's not my favorite. The best one's the um, 
Kiko. Kikaman. Kikaman, that's the best yeah. one. That's the one that tastes the most. That's what they have in like Wagamamas and that, didn't it? Yeah, it tastes the most soy saucy to me. Okay, I haven't tried that on its own. It tastes quite sweet. Mm, okay. I don't know if they normally have sugar, but this one just strikes me as very sweet. Mm. Anyway, let's watch Mad Men. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. I am Voldemort. Somebody said it's, they, it reminded them of Voldemort when I said good night. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the accent. Maybe I just look like Voldemort. No, my nose is far too big to look like Voldemort. Harry. Harry Potter. My, my friend can do like, everything. The, she can do the best Voldemort impression. Who's that? Alice. I thought it would be. What is it? He says, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Oh, from the first movie. Yeah, and then when he's, yeah, when he has the, um, the thingy back on the back of his, of his head, head and he says something. What does he say? Be a parasite. She always does this. She does this impression of it. Wait, wait, wait. Laugh so wait. much. Oh. Right. Goodbye. Know, it's been a long time since I've seen that movie.